Hello and welcome to part 21 of this Civilization 5 Let's Play playing as the Songhai Empire. And, um, well, let me just finish off one or two of these uh, things from the previous turn. Um, let me get my thoughts together. So, we were in a war against the Ottomans. We peaced out, but we're going to continue this war because there's great rewards for taking these two cities. And there's, um, there's wool world wonders in this city what well, we got hanging gardens university of S sankor Uni university of sankor red fort and the summer palace um so that's all quite nice has the game frozen on me the game took a long while to load so i'm a little worried about how long this processing turn is going to be and speaking of being worried, I am worried about Assyria. They denounced me. We're friends. Well, we were friends with them until they denounced me. And we do have a research agreement for 45 turns. Now, they're probably not to know this, but they're on my target list. Uh, they have the they have a Grand Canal. Let's see what wonders they have. They have pyramids, Angravat, uh, Forbidden Palace, the Statue of Zeus, Petra, and the Grand Canal. Particularly, we want the Grand Canal. Um, it gives all of our units like 10% strength when attacking. All of our um, naval units. So, what I'd like to do is... Oh, I should have done it before the, the turn. I'd like to just get a couple of my Corvettes to start patrolling this area. Just to light up uh, this area here. I'd also... I think I should start concentrating on trying to get this uh, city-state back. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that processing turn took longer than usual. I'll edit the rest of them out. I like to take the first one just to talk a little bit. Wait, my culture growth was not enough. I didn't keep an eye on that. Somebody else was to pick me at the end. That's unfortunate. Right, I'm a bit worried about this game, how slow it is. Right, there's, here's a couple of Corvettes. I don't need these Corvettes here. I have a frigate on the way down to help deal with this. Uh, let me get one of these already going over. Maybe I do need the bow. Bow of some... No, I think that's the last. Uh, this is the last of... Uh, the camps. I might, I might need this frigate in the end, to be honest. Right, five followers, five followers. Uh, I have one hit left. Uh, let's go back up to this guy. Right, here's uh, another Corvette for this mission. Actually, I'll send a few of them, and when I inevitably send too many, I'll send one back. And I think uh, the the rest of the plan is is just to sit and wait. Um, should I bring him back to upgrade him before attacking? No, let's uh, let's hang on here and see what happens. And I I believe we have a frigate on the way up. I I assume he's on the way up, but let's just make sure of that. That was an unfortunate one to miss out on. And we've good control over that uh, city state. Treasury robbed. That's unfortunate. Uh, Mogadishu looks elsewhere. Um, I would like <coughs> to see what the spy uh, missions are, especially the German one. Okay, we still need two. That's. That's annoying, because I definitely stole the technology and I disrupted. The building of something. So gathering intelligence. Uh, we'll see what happens in Frankfurt. Yeah, so I am a little annoyed with that. And when when will we get another spy? Oh, we just got into this area. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, let's go back into this screen. So this says gain additional spies, plural, more than one. I gained one additional spy when I got this. In fact, I gained zero. It wasn't until uh, the next era I gained two instead of one. 
So I don't really understand this uh, Shadow Networks one. I guess I could probably look it up. <laughs> that sounds like... That sounds way too much work. Corvette, what are you do? Oh yes, yes. I have a large shipment of spies. Sorry, spies. They're much more insidious than spies. They're missionaries. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay getting these guys all positioned around the city-state. So, what was the plan? I think... Didn't I settle on the idea of... Where would this guy go, then? I mightn't have enough room for my actual plan. Um, so, I take the field gun inside the city. Um, Fusilier here and here. I guess another fusilier maybe around here, just well, I don't know, maybe just here in the background, ready to help out. Um, oh yeah, that was it. The the archer, the horse archer, I'm gonna call him here, and um, then I'll build a road underneath him so he has more maneuverability. Uh, perhaps I sent this ship away a little too soon. <laughs> let's let's get back here. Uh, we might need uh, multiple guys attacking him. Yeah, I think we do. Um, although the frigate could probably return home if I did send one. I don't see him. He probably got lost in the mix somewhere. Uh, let's continue to send ships over here. So um, a, a big bit of news. I think at least it's news. It's hard to tell. Sometimes these notifications appear and reappear for random reasons. At least that's uh, what it feels like. Right, successful robbery in Berlin. Is does that count towards my uh, spy action? This is Arabia, so he's the money maker. Let's uh, go back to him. Levante is preparing for festivals of nations. Uh, player with the highest tourism. Okay. And let's see. Uh, so I'm looking for the German. Spy, so I only have to do one more um, operation against them. So that's that should be that should be good because I have two guys here. Maybe I I bring this guy back then. I thought I had to wait like the forty four turns and I'd be one, but I'm guessing he steals gold every ten or twenty turns or something. Yeah, I want to start spying on a Assyria because I have a reward for it. Not that it's that's that good of a place to spy on. I guess we'll see what Frankfurt says after I establish um, the espionage. Sorry, the big bit of news. Uh, Assyria has declared war on the Siamese. That means Assyria is now at war with Arabia, their neighbor. And uh, the Siamese, the most powerful civ in the game. Which is quite... Oh, you have no money. Okay. I could I could actually buy a lot of things off him. Uh, what cities need stuff? Is it? It's easier to see over here, isn't it? So I need truffles, gems are banned, um, incense and gold. Let's see. Let's try and get it off the Ottomans, I suppose. Truffles. That's a bit expensive for my liking. How about Brazilians? Yeah, so you're nice and cheap. Good yeah, let's let's buy a few things here just to get our happiness up a little bit. These golden ages are aren't going to be moving at all now. With uh, I don't really want to trade with anyone else. Maybe the Swedish incense is needed. Sorry, how much is all this costing? Uh, way too expensive. Okay, and I guess there's no point trading with the Ottomans because I'll just lose it then in a few turns. And I do want to keep it. And let's uh, let's uh, just upgrade everyone we get our hands on. It looks like we have plenty of money, and I think we should start going through some of the cities as well. Mm -hmm. Is this counted as a... 
blank. It never seems to be, but... Yeah, let's just start pounding him down uh, before... Uh, before the boat gets there. The, the Lancer... The Lancer was meant to go here, but maybe he'll do a job there. Probably not, actually. The frigate is plenty. I'm trying to do my best with that city, but honestly, it's probably not worth the effort. God, this has been a really, a, a really annoying experience. And hell, the boat itself isn't it probably that much of a deterrent. Look, he can be killed this turn if uh, if they wish to attack him. But look how look how distracted this Syria is. They have units over here, and hopefully they're in a war up here now. They have a big border up here. They're at war with this city state. No, this could be a great time to attack the attack their capital, but also. <laughs> Maybe not. Alright, let's uh, speed some things up. Windmills, uh, wherever we can find them, probably. Um, yeah, I think I'll have more money coming. I don't think uh, the money train's going to run out anytime soon. Oh yeah, we get, uh, we get a nice little reward for buying stuff. Science is especially needed. And so has he got some sort of religious ability that stops me stops me spreading religion or something? We have open borders. I don't see a Oh, here we go. It's Inquisitor here. Let's go up to Brazil. If I have open borders, that is. No, no open borders with Brazil. Maybe we'll uh, ask uh, for open borders. Continue. In fact, we'll probably get paid for it, to be honest. No. No. <laughs> yeah, well, what he said. No. Let's throw in a horse or so, just to get a bit of money. Glad. I forgot, actually, I should start trading my horse. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have much need for any more of them. Um, let's throw the Germans a horse if we can, help in his war efforts. Try and get paid for it, though. Yeah, alright, let's give him two. We are spying a lot on them. Okay, we're back, and um, I was in my own head though, so I killed the Bavarian here before I uh, realized I start talking and stuff like that. Um, anyway, we're back now. Killed the Bavarian, killed the camp. Uh, finally killed uh, one of these camps. What was it? there? Was three or four down here, but that's the last of them now, I think. And this uh, boat wasn't needed in the end, so he can go on his way. Right, we can spread religion now. The Inquisitor must have just been passing through. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, spread some there. City connection established. I'm guessing there was a lighthouse built somewhere. Yeah. What do we need here? I guess just lumber mills everywhere. Well, there's only a couple of tiles left. And, um... You, you get ready for the upcoming fight. I think I'll hang off one turn um, until that rigger gets there to clear everything up. Wait, what's got? How have we lost Marvel again? That's <laughs> that keeps happening, and I don't even realize when it happens. I think it's time to start moving some of these boats. So let's get the frigates into the spots we were sort of discussing and thinking about. Um, but actually, then again, I don't really want the frigates up front. 
for when the war begins. Because ideally I'd like the Ottomans to begin the war. It doesn't change anything for my uh, for my defensive plan. It's perfectly fine for that. But it it so it does get, allow me to um, not be in war, not be at war with <laughs> the rest of the world. Which uh, there's a certain uh, there's a lot to be said for that. I think. Okay, you can you can stay here for the moment. Yeah, actually, that's where he is. It's fine. It's plenty of room to be getting in. Have I? What city? What city is this? Okay, we have open borders with them. Actually, you don't need uh, don't need to use the open borders now that I think about it. That's quite a choke point for a naval unit. So I. I hope for a serious sake, for my sake I hope not, but for a serious sake I hope he has uh, land units here also taking that city. Because I don't think he's going to manage it with the boats alone. But like I said, for my sake I hope he doesn't fails. Yeah, so I will pretty much just leave uh, one of the boats there. I want to see if any large fleet come across the war. I was trying to think what to do with these uh, the extra supply cap I have here, and I was thinking maybe I need some land units, maybe more frigates, and um, I probably do need one or two more land units to be honest. But I think you can just win it with all-out naval attacks, and here's my reasoning: because I was I was thinking to myself, you know what, Africa has a lot of uh, land in the centre, um, Euro Asia here, like it's a lot of central land here. But ultimately, I don't need to take over the entire world. I just need to cripple other civs. And you can cripple civs by taking out two or three of their coastal cities and just make them uh, make them give up. Now, it is going to be hard to take their capital, which I will have to do in the long term. But if I cripple his... Uh, man, he doesn't have many uh, coastal cities that I can see. Uh, perhaps in the Mediterranean here. Hopefully that opens up a little bit and I might have another one. Um, yeah, but, well, there's at least uh, uh, one Scandinavia one. We can take his city-state out. Is that accessible? Yeah, there's another one up there. What, what would that be? Um, St. Petersburg, perhaps? Uh, I'm not sure what I clicked on. I think it said Ottomans, so therefore it'd be sheer intrigue. Uh, yeah, the Ottomans... No, Bismarck is plotting against Syria, alright. We demand that you stop spying on us. I, I Actually, I don't know what he said. I'm just trying to entice him to go to war with me. Uh, eight more turns, though. Now it's grown. I think I, sh I think I should have a look through some of my cities. Uh, let's just do the capital on, on stream, and then we'll skip to the rest. Oh, look at this! Actually, we can buy some great diplomats, which I think is what I'm going to do, and I'll, I'll explain why in a moment. Okay, let's uh, check on these. Uh, I I just re remembered that. Or I remembered in the processing door. That we also have a monopoly on spices, so these tiles are massive as well. They get plus uh, four culture. Um, with that in mind, let's make sure we're working all these good ones. Maybe I could add the tobacco into that. I think that's worthwhile. Let's see. We're going engineer. Did I not change off engineer? Let's turn off edge there and we'll go all out market perhaps. I think they're cheap they're cheap ones to make at the moment. Um, yeah, we get away with one engineer anyway. Well actually Yeah, let's uh let's get writers in there. And we'll keep some of the mar uh, some of the market guys. 
Yeah. The other thing I could do with this uh, extra supply cap is just wait. Just hang in there and see if um, it becomes necessary to use it. That could be the safer option. Um, for example, yeah, these two cities over here, like they might, well, he's a puppet, so he can't actually build new units. Uh, but they might need uh, new units shipped in, so might he. Hmm. One more frigate never goes astray. Uh, let's let's build buildings first. Oh, we have a frigate lined up as well. We'll continue to build these buildings anyway. Uh, you can have the money for that. The Great Diplomats. I would like... Let's find uh, city-states that are secure. For example, this one. Um, they could s establish an embassy if available. So we'll send the embassy there. Mogadishu. It seems fairly secure as well. Um, the other thing I could use it for is to win back the Vatican. It would be fairly awkward actually if we ended up in a war. Uh, let's let's hang on here. Isn't there a sentry mode? Alert. I'm guessing what it is. Yeah, unit wakes up when it sees an enemy. I don't know if we're going to see an enemy per se. Oh, there's no way onto this land. Okay, don't kill me when we get here. Alright. That would be really annoying. The Swedes got to war with me or something, or the Germans. This guy healed. And he can get down and defend this city. Um, yeah, I don't really want to spend money on units. So I think this city can just build me some when they finish clearing out their buildings. No, I certainly don't need to go to war with anybody right now. Oh yeah, this guy's probably causing all that trouble. Um, and alert. I may have used too many of those corvettes over there, but probably not. Right, it looks like some city-states uh, have a few new offers for us, which actually reminds me, um, I did want to pledge to protect. I wonder... No, it must be in the top 60%. Yours is ranked at 50%. Alright, so we're not going to be able to do that at the moment. Hedro is plotting. Yeah, sure. Intrigue. So I went through a lot of the city-states. I had... Uh, yeah, a lot of the specialists were messed up. I'm sure I changed them back from... After the treasure fleet, away from all the engineers. But I seem to have engineers everywhere. Maybe I didn't because I had those game crashes. So I ended up playing it twice. So maybe I forgot to do it on the real play show. Ooh, I was thinking of sending a pioneer up there. Yeah. No, I don't think we have the happiness to spare with this, uh, with all these conquests coming up. Okay, so what do you want? You want me to build five windmills? Yeah, there's no problem. I just built one. Unfortunately, you probably didn't see that. So let's uh. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, are you the best person to have a... Let's uh, hedge our bets and put it there as well. Yeah, sure, that guy as well. Your windmills are useful anyway, so it's not exactly a waste. Uh, I'm sending you back up here to heal, because I do need some of these. Uh, some of these, you can go up here as well, actually. Some of these corvettes in this war zone, or future war zone. I think uh, most of these guys can go sleep.
Henry Kissinger. Um, which war zone are you going? Uh, I, well, yeah, an extra unit up there probably wouldn't go and miss. Oh, I never checked on the other city states. So, construct a windmill. Uh, great artists. Yeah, that should be on the list somewhere. Oh, that's all. I thought there was a third one. Uh, these workers, I think, can start evacuating then. Um, perhaps roads all over. No, I think just let's just evacuate him out. That was nothing to do with us, all that red I just seen, was it? I don't think so. Right, so what have we got? There's already two there. This spreads one. Spreads nothing. Spreads nothing. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of work. And uh, you can go home. Those guys are. Their job is done. Take. Let's take a little bit of a wide berth. Might as well check if there's any land masses I'm not remembering in the world. <laughs> it could always happen. Right. Remember, we do get a big bonus for converting and for a city actually following us. Uh, we get a bonus inside our capital, so I think that's always worth it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm curious to see what what does an embassy get me? Actually, let me look that up before I go and do a embass. Great diplomats, uh, the first player and only the first player to construct an embassy in the city states earns an extra foe in the World Congress. Yeah, I think it's probably worthwhile to get a few extra votes in the Congress. I'm not sure what you think, but yeah, I think it's probably worthwhile. I, I wish I'd gotten the religion bonus that, um, that I get for running the Congress, because I seem to be running it right now. Right, um, Pedro wanted some of my horse, so I gave it to him. I'm guessing this is where that horse came from. Down here, I guess we'll just build some random stuff. And I want to build a road, is one of the important things. So we need to get up to six, maybe seven. I think we might get there. There's six anyway on that pass. Yeah, when we don't increase the actual number, we get plus 35 anyway. And we get plus 75 when it goes up one. The thing is, I think it would have been a lot more efficient to spread these to, uh, for example, Swedish cities. Although we won't bother trying to spread it to that one. Uh, we'll go into Dortmund with the rest of these because we've got a reward now. <laughs> the reward that was not in any way worth that. Well, the influence, I guess, well, not worth it in this case either. Uh, fuse. Oh yeah, I forgot about conscripted units. That's going to be well, not it's not so much a problem, especially with our supply cap. Yeah, uh, but it's something that needs to be considered a little bit. I think I well, I can't move them at all. I think I go ahead and move them up here because there will come a moment when we beat the city down that we need to move units in to start to take a little bit of control. Uh, Budapest is in awe of me. Oh, I've. Uh, Obviously converted the most people or so. I wonder what I got for that. Ooh. So we capture that city, we're gonna that's gonna become an ally. And where was the other one? Um that's our own city down here, isn't it? When we capture this, it's gonna be uh, out of sight he is. Let's see that tile looks fine. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this whole constructing embassies. Like, surely it helps him. It doesn't help me. Finally! Oh my god, thank you, Ice. You finally built a worker and fixed that blight on your landscape. <laughs> that was annoying me so, so unbelievably much. Where are we? Uh, you can go and uh, sleep. So I think uh, we might switch out the frigate with uh, Corvette or something. 
Okay, I've remembered something for about three processing turns in a row now, and I forgot. Uh, I need an extra cargo ship, so let's uh, not forget that, because that's just throwing money away. Uh, let's get it. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to close that window. What was that, steam power? Uh, can we open that up again? No. Okay, we get Zeppelin's uh, Seaport, uh, uh, Slatter Mill, Reveals Coal, and Embargo Movement. Uh, yeah, we'll want seaports in a few cities, I think. What do we get out of this? Let's remind ourselves. So extra production and sea resources are nice. And, oh wow, it increases the military supply cap. Now, what do we get for the train stations? Where are they? Because they're your choices. One of, either one of them. Yeah. So extra production and 10% extra gold. I feel a seaport would be better for my military supply caps. So this guy would want a seaport because he's constructing buildings for me. Uh, this guy would want a seaport because he has a, a, a water tile. This guy has two water tiles. This guy's using a lot of his war, using a lot of his war. He's all war, he's all war. Uh, you know, you're using a little bit of your war. I guess seaports all around except for him. That's if we have any coal, which didn't pop up. How do we have no coal? <clears throat> I guess that's realistic. Maybe South America doesn't have coal. No, there we go. There's coal there. Do I get the resources? Resources from city-states count towards global monopolies. Well, that's nice. Uh, yeah, are you providing me with two coal? Here's one. Oh, from policies. Yeah, so I got one. Maybe next turn, because I got this in the middle of the turn. Maybe next turn I'm going to get that two coal from him. And just having a look around the world. Pennsylvania in America. Don't they have lots of coal, I think? If I've learned anything from Trump becoming president, I think it was that. But I don't see any. Uh, what's that? Up in Vancouver, I guess. Uh yeah, oh yeah, we don't have Kiev at the moment. Uh, maybe I should just spread... Maybe I need to spend a bit of money on a couple of envoys. Build an envoy. I have the money, but I just really don't like spending it. Just like in real life. Let's get, uh, let's get a frigate back there. And move there. Right, won't be perfect their first turn, but after that they should uh, they should get a bit better at it. Uh, what technology are we going for? Should I pop into railroads? Should I pop into archaeology, scientific theory? Um, is there something special? We've got cruisers, yes. Very special. I need a lot of iron for that. I probably don't have enough iron, actually. Um, military academy, that's nice. Uh, try and get Brandenburg Gate. Yeah, looking good to me. Flights, maybe, would be the next thing. But certainly uh, dynamite for the cruisers. Hadn't really talked about that. Yeah, we'll go with this as well for the military academy and the chance to get uh, Brandenburg Gate. What do I get out of that? Great general. 15 experience for units built there. Um, happiness in all cities from lack of poverty. That all looks pretty good. Hmm, maybe after that, though, I think I might. I should think about getting archaeology. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes from that point. So purchase with fate. Uh, when can I buy another great diplomat? Another two thousand. But well, that's the second city wanting incense, so let's go ahead and find incense for these guys. Uh, Arabia has two, Sweden has five. Uh, I think Arabia should be helped the most. And they do want.
What's a thousand for it? Let's see what uh, the Let's Germans spoon. want. Sorry, it was the Swedes, wasn't it? It it oh, looks man. like uh, it looks like Assyria has significantly lost out there. We must check out the graphs uh, to see quite what happened. All right, you know what? You can have a good deal. I need the extra. I need the extra half of this. It helps out a lot, of my guys. Anyway, seven seems nice enough. There you go. Right, graphs. Uh, so the score. Let's see. Where is Assyria? Yeah, it looks like they got in a bit of trouble, and maybe the Siamese took a city or something off them. And uh, where are we in this mess? Looking okay. Uh, tech, yeah, we're not. Uh, we're probably caught up a bit, as you can see from back here. Like we've probably closed this gap slightly over time, and we're still the jo joint top policy holder. So this is this is looking good for a warmongering game. This is looking great. Kiev was a great scientist. We should get him that eventually. And Taoism spreads to Singapore, which yeah, we knew that. Yeah, this red is bothering me. It's not us getting damaged. I don't think. Why does it keep asking me this question? Have I not? Oh, you're a different <laughs> unit. I thought I was up there. Okay, anger, anger abated. Uh, I apologize. Probably my fault there. Uh, I should slowly go down a coast and check out what's, what's where and what's what. Right, how much are we spreading here? Not much. At least we're able to spread something, I suppose. Oh, this is painful. The My computer must be working overtime or so. The processing turns have taken longer than usual, and this is just feeling painful moving these units. Like, oh my god. Muscles are popping out of my neck trying to move them. There's just so much culture in this spreading of religion. Um, it's getting harder and harder, though. Like, I think maybe I go back to uh, moving, trying to change Brazil, because I think they're weaker-minded in the sense that it's not their religion. So maybe I'd be able to spread it easier there. Oh, there we go. There was a landmass I didn't know about. Where are we in the world? Uh, that could be Antarctica, I suppose. Uh, Antarctica should be over the entire bottom of the map since we've spread it out to be a cylinder. Which isn't technically accurate, but I suppose it'll work. What on earth are you doing there? Who are you and why are you there? Um, I'm st I'd still like to settle Cuba, perhaps, once I start a war. I Can I settle inside somebody's territory once you're at war? I don't think so, actually. Yeah, I'm fairly sure you can't. Okay, a lot of notifications to deal with there. Let's uh, change up this frigate first of all. And, uh, they can both go sleep. Everyone go sleep. Um, cargo ship. Actually, that reminds me of new technology. So let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Seaport should be built before most other things. Let's spend the money on that one. It will also help. Was it extra experience points as well? Um, no, I don't see any extra experience points for building. I, I'm sure I did though, but I guess I didn't. You know what? I'd like to build a Zeppelin. Uh, don't I have a... No, I probably lost that guy, didn't I? He was over here. He was attacking and he got... I'm thinking of my Pathfinder. Or whatever he turned into. Yeah, a couple of Zeppelins would be nice. Alright, we love the king as you should. Hey, you're growing in population? Must be those lumber mills doing something good. No, they don't they don't really provide any food. Your sea tiles, I might actually buy you a sea tile because the AI doesn't seem to be doing it. Uh, it would help with your I don't want to waste money on that crappy city, to be honest. Let's check on... 
Any city states wanting a trade route? Doesn't look like it to me. Right, so who do we strategically want to boister up or whatever? Kiev, I guess, would uh, benefit from an extra reputation every turn. I'm not sure if it'll do any good, but hell, might as well try. Oh, Bavarian camp. That's uh, eminently reachable. But unfortunately, I think a war is about to start soon. Sooner rather than later. So, yeah, four turns. Yeah, I don't want to have to spend the time going over there and back. Let somebody else get it or let nobody get it. What do I care? Okay, Mogadishu requires copper. Yeah, I'll do that for you. Uh, get you a little more advanced and we get ourselves a pile of gold. That's if copper is gettable. How do I see who has copper? Um, Syria, you might, you might make me pay for this. That's too bad, I guess. No, that's right, the very first guess. Okay. I'll take that. Does any of my... Uh, none of my cities wanted copper other than him. Still, it's... Uh, I get more gold out of it than I put into it, and I get the extra, the extra cushion of reputation points, which is nice. What's a worker doing here? I sent a worker. Like, that's probably him, I guess. Yeah, uh, let's get you on land and hope we find a job for you. Keep him on alert for the moment. Yeah, it's probably time we explore Antarctica a bit. In late game, is there more rewards for settling on snow than usual with better technologies or something? I'm not sure about that, but I don't think I'll ever be settling Antarctica, even if there is a good island. Right, we have a nice number of troops up around this city now. Uh, we have one more on the way, I believe. Uh, what did I see? Okay, Syria has made peace with Arabia. means they must have failed to take that city. And now they can concentrate on... The Siamese. I wonder who is stronger there. Like, it might just be all tech. One of them has a lead in or something. Rationalism, progress, statecraft, industry. Yeah, neither of them are that warlike. So, that's why I'm, I'm quite happy here that I could probably rush over either of them. Well, not rush, but uh, beat either of them. Wouldn't be easy, but I think it's very doable. Okay, so lots, uh, lots to do in this city. Uh, first of all, let's get ourselves a courthouse. Let's line up a lot of this stuff. Courthouse, monument, uh, lighthouse to trade with. A well, actually, you probably have the population that a well early would be better. Shrine. Barracks. Yeah, let's let's go workhouse windmill as well. And yeah, what's your population? It's already twelve, so yeah, well would actually be quite valuable quite early. Let's uh, let's get the well before the courthouse. That might even speed that up a little bit. And we have more upgrades coming. How much iron do we have? Three. That is not enough. I think I might have some iron trades out. So I'm exp exporting one iron to Brazil. That will end in uh, 17 turns. That's in time to get cruisers. But unfortunately, my iron to Assyria won't be in time. But then again, I'll probably go to war with Assyria, which will get me those iron back as well. And we're using iron on field guns. So I guess I probably don't want to build any more field guns. Oh, here it shows you what might need iron in the future. Cruisers, artillery. Yeah, that's quite interesting. And are we going to get access to iron up in this part of the world? And um, here's six here. We're going to grab, hopefully, a two. That's a bit measly. Yeah, not much iron up there at all. But okay, that's uh, that's we can live with it.
And um, I think we'll end the video here. Yeah, I have a, I have a couple of things I need to go do. So it's probably it's probably a little shorter than usual with uh, the extra long processing times I had to deal with. I I would have a feeling there's units behind this. If I click this, there'll still be units to move. But uh, <laughs> I I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. No, I gotta go do some things. Okay, so in the next video. We should be we should be ready to go to war with the Ottomans. Three more turns. Uh, I think we have everything in place. Yeah, I think we can rush in here, hit this city a lot, in and back out, in and back out. I have a feeling it doesn't have an arsenal. I think it's a uh, its defensive strength will go up a lot. But then again, this guy has an arsenal, and he doesn't have that strong of a defensive strength either. So uh, who knows? I guess we'll find out quick enough. I'll leave a couple of units in the in the three tiles away zone, and we'll find it out. But remember, I can I can actually hit from four tile, tiles away. Although this is three tiles to the city, that's unfortunate. I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. I think we'll weaken the city. He'll flounder around because he he won't have any way to deal with us. So he'll just blindly attack this guy, blindly attack in here, which here is no go because. My naval units can snipe the land as well. And uh, after we weaken them, for, it will take a while. After we weaken them, though, our land units can come in and just uh, take everything over. So hopefully you'll tune in tomorrow to check that out. Until then, I have a playlist for the entire series on the bottom right. And if you're in the future, which I suspect you will be, um, the whole series might be here by now. And um, my previous series, which it is complete is up the top, top right of the screen. That was Best Korea. So if you'd like to watch something that you know has an ending, um, check this out. And uh, subscribe buttons down the bottom left. So hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. And until then, have a good one.